a while ago I showed you uh, a prototype side tipping wagon that I produced for the next layout. This was the one I showed you. Works perfectly well and uh, I said that I was going to make some more of the things. Now since then I've been doing various uh, various jobs uh, including some real work uh, so I've not had all my time to myself but uh, I have uh, worked on uh, a pile of them and I've mass produced uh, loads of, well 12 of them to be honest which is more than enough for my layout and I finally finished the first one and uh, this is it this is sort of what it looks like um, fully assembled and roughly painted up it might get a bit more finishing we'll we'll, we'll see um, but this is it so we've got uh, a laser cut chassis uh, this is two layers of two mil mdf laser cuts to form in uh, the beams and cross beams there uh, and then laser cut axle boxes uh, which just plug in um, needle point bearings which again just plug straight in and that gives the right spacing and that works very very well um, couplings uh, I'll be using magnetic, my own mag magnetic couplings on whichever uh, is attaching to the loco and I'll be using pin and link to uh, the next wagon. So wagon to wagon will be pin and link and magnetic to the loco. So uh, I've produced very simple uh, couple of housings uh, that fit on the end each end there and those are simply 3d printed on a PLA printer these are some that haven't been cleaned up um, they print quite quickly but they do the job quite well they're drawn up in a 3d program called uh, what is it called? It's uh, produced by RS, the electrical supply company. Um, Design Spark Mechanical is the name of the program. It's a, a free program from RS and it's really um, very useful. You can even uh, produce things like chimneys with nice flares on it uh, if you practice enough. But I use Design Spark Mechanical. Uh, for uh, drawing up my 3D stuff. Uh, so 3D printed coupling housings. Um, and uh, although the woodwork assembles fairly quickly, what has taken me an absolute age is all the iron work. Um, and there's a fair bit on it. There's all these straps. Uh, and these straps, of course, have bits of tube silver soldered to the end uh, to take the um, the push bar as it were uh, and also uh, a bit of wire soldered to that end to form the pivot and it just takes time to uh, cut bend rivet and all the rest it's all right when you're doing one loco, but when you're doing 12 uh, wagon, but when you're doing 12 wagons, um, it, you know, it just takes an inordinate amount of time. So that's what's um, taken me the real time on this. Um, the pivot on this, uh, the pivot, you can see the pivot bar there. That's just a cocktail stick because it happened to be the right size and I wasn't inclined to um, 
pay good cash type money for two mil wire or rod so a cocktail stick will do very nicely thank you very very much um so oh yes uh and a little bit of lead stuck on the underside there uh just to help it uh tip back so effectively um if one lifts this side that'll be the operation uh once it's discharged it'll then settle back down and ride normally that's the idea behind it all and a little bit of wood stain gray paint and then uh rust work on on the iron work and that's it so i've now just got uh couplings to fit on all the others and painting and they're they're done but all of them are now fully assembled uh they all operate and they all work so as i say couplings and painting and then that's the job done and they can all push off to one side um just so you can see bear with me that's Lots of side tipper wagons. Job done. And this is destined for the layout. The Sparrow, as are in fact these three coaches. That, that'll be the only coaching stock. Uh, and of course, uh, the layout will be the home for this ship, which you can't see because there's so much clutter behind it. But there you go. Um, take those glasses off. Uh, this has a Caldercraft uh, hull, but all the superstructure is scratch built uh, to 7mm scale because, of course, Caldercraft models are a different scale. I think they're 1 to 48 or something like that, um, which is. Uh, too far off so all the superstructure is scratch built including uh, I had to remake all, all the decking planking and and all the rest and the laser cutter came in very very useful for for all that all the ladders are new uh, all the structures are new all that but it's been quite fun and that's going to be quite a nice little centerpiece I think there's even a chart table in there with some rolled charts, which you might just be able to see. Uh, and all the bits and pieces. So that's what's going on. Hope you find it interesting. <laughs>